Hey guys, so look, I'm trying to become like one of those people that actually like makes their bed every single day because I just feel like those people have their lives together. You know, when I was little, I just never saw the point in it because I'm like, why make my bed if I'm gonna get back in it and mess it up again? It just seems pointless, but you know, I wanna look like I got my life together, you know, for this video. How you doing? I'm Tariq, nice to meet you. You new here? Hi. <laughs> if you're not doing good, that's fine because this video is supposed to help you. Well, that's the goal. I mean, self-care, it should help you, that, that's the whole point of the care part, but in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some of the things that I do every single day for self-care. Self-care is very personalized, okay? So what is self-care for me may not be self-care for you, but some people never really know how to figure out what they like to do for self-care. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing some of the things that I love to do for self-care and explaining why I love to do them and how they make me feel. And so maybe that can get you thinking about the things that you may like to do or the things that may make you feel better about yourself. So. Without further ado, we're gonna get started, but um, let me um, make my bed really quick, okay? And then, and then we can get to that, okay? Okay, let me tell you guys about the products I've been using, and then I'll explain to you why I love skincare so much for self-care. So I'm used to having my entire routine take around 10 minutes because I usually use five plus products to get all the ingredients I need. But lately, I've been using these products by Geology, and now I swear I'm done in like two minutes. There's literally only two products in the morning and two at night. And I used to think that the more products I use, the better, but that's actually not the case. It's all about the ingredients, baby. And instead of having them spread out in 20 different products, Geology has them all in four. And you know, I actually really appreciate a shorter routine because I feel like when it's longer, you're more inclined to skip it because it just starts feeling like another task that you have to do. The design is pretty basic, but that's because it's a men's skincare line, but you guys know chemistry has no gender, and I care more about what it does for me rather than who it's for and what it looks like. So ladies, yes, you can check it out too. Also, since it's targeted towards men, there's no scents or fragrances in it, so it's safer for people with sensitive skin. The first step is going on their website to take their skin cool so that they can personalize the ingredients for your skin type and then boom they ship it out It's really quick and since they're sponsoring this video and I'm working with them You guys can use my code to 30 for 30% off You know growing up skincare was never really a thing like I washed my face with a bar of soap. It was that bad <laughs> I love doing skincare for self-care because it makes me pause everything in my life and literally only focus on me and look at me It feels good to do something that takes research time and effort and it only services me. That's why I love it. It's just purely for me and I feel like I'm taking care of myself. So every morning I like to go jogging and you know, most people work out for like body image reasons. Like, you know, they want abs or they want to tone their arms or whatever. But but most of the time when I am working out, it's not for any goals. Like I don't have any pictures of what I want. I'm really just working out because of how it makes me feel. I don't know, working out just makes me feel better about my health. I feel like every time I work out, I'm adding like a couple of months onto my life. <laughs> like we consume all of these things that are bad for us, like alcohol, sweets and stuff like that. And I just feel like when when I work out and when I eat healthy, I'm repaying myself for those bad moments. So usually I'll jog to a place and on the way there, I'll listen to music. I'll work out wherever I go, like if it's push-ups or sit-ups or something like that. Then on the walk back, I don't listen to music. I just listen to nature. I let my thoughts run freely because I just feel like music sometimes can silence your own thoughts and it doesn't allow you to be present. So that's usually what I do. So every day I sit down and I write down how I'm feeling, what I'm thinking, what's bothering me, what's making me feel great, just anything that I'm feeling that has been on my mind that day, I like to write it down. And I know this seems very cheesy. Um, it doesn't have to be a whole page. I just like to keep track of my emotions. Um, and you know, sometimes you can feel something, but if you say it out loud or you write it down, you start thinking like, wow, do I really feel like that? And then in the future, when you go back and see how you felt last week, or if you felt two days ago, and if it's still there, like a couple of days later, you know that's something you probably need to work on. Or maybe you were just having a random day where you were feeling bad about something, and it's not really something to worry about. I think we have all of these emotions and thoughts, and we think that they all need action action or need to be acted on or need to ex be explored sometimes but sometimes it's just a thought that just comes by but keeping track of these things is very important to me because my mind goes in a hundred different directions 
Okay, so the next one will be a little cringy if I just recorded myself doing it like B-roll. So I'm gonna just say it out loud. <laughs> it's something I say on this channel, on my Twitter, and on Instagram all the time, and that's to compliment yourself. And I know for a lot of people this is very weird. Like every time I tweet it, people are like, people actually do this, like this is normal. It is gonna feel very weird when you first start like just talking to yourself out loud and complimenting yourself, especially if you don't necessarily believe it or you don't feel it. It sometimes can feel forced. Maybe you've normalized always being mean to yourself or criticizing yourself all the time and beating yourself up and being hard on yourself. And so that's why it's so hard for you to compliment yourself. And so when I tell you to compliment yourself, you're like, what do I even say? If you have a problem coming up with something to say about yourself and something nice, that should tell you that this is probably something that you should work on. But, and I think this is so important because I think when we talk about self-care, people automatically jump to like activities and hobbies and things like that that we love to do but sometimes it's the words of affirmation that we share with ourselves but yes without making this a very long video with me talking let me just do it right now so I'm gonna look into my monitor and I'm gonna show you guys how I compliment myself and what that process is like um, I always tell people to compliment something about yourself that you may not love or something that you want to love more because then you'll make a new norm of you loving it and then you'll start to believe it over time actually I'm looking at myself in the monitor hey Teresa <laughs> um, you're very beautiful. You have a very beautiful smile. Um, I love your teeth. Um, you've been really nervous lately about, you know, your content and, you know, if the angles are right, if the lighting is right, if you look right, if your body looks good in the camera and you're filming things for hours when it should just take 20 minutes, honestly. But I'm just here to let you know that not everything that you do is going to be perfect, but everything that you do, you put your time and effort into, and so that's what makes it perfect. And no matter how many views it gets, um, no matter if it wins an award or if people say they love it, you put your time and effort into it, and that means something because you are doing your purpose and you are being fulfilled in that process. So stop beating yourself up when you know you don't reach certain goals for yourself at a certain time. Maybe you may not reach them today, you'll reach them soon. And even if you don't get it perfect on the first time or in the first two months, you're trying. And over time, you do nothing but improve. Lately, you've been thinking about your body more than you usually do. Understand that it's not going to be an end-all, be-all. Body dysmorphia, I don't, I don't think it just goes away. And that's okay, Tariq, like don't expect to feel like freaking the best body in the world like that's okay just allow those feelings to exist and don't beat yourself up because you have those feelings and you feel like you should be this be this enlightened person because you've talked to people about body image and everything like that and it's okay that you don't have it figured out like it's okay like and it's okay that those feelings are there one small feeling that you have right now about your body does not define your body image okay you know that you love yourself you know that you've come a long way with your body image and it may not be perfect but it's still something that you're working on and you you come a long way i'm proud of you i love you you are beautiful and you are doing good okay so that is what i do <laughs> it's pretty long but i was really feeling it, you know? Uh, but it doesn't have to be that long all the time. Like sometimes it can just be, you know, 10 seconds. Maybe you're having a sad day and you don't have much to say, but it's important that what, what would you do to a friend when they're having a bad day or if they're sad? You compliment them, you uplift them. And I think, I tell you guys all the time, treat yourself like another person. And this is very important. Treat yourself with love, care, and comfort, okay? And share those words with yourself. So. I'm done with this portion, but uh, yeah. <laughs> So most of you guys know I just graduated college and being a biology major, pre-med and pre-dental and all of that, like I didn't really have a lot of time where I didn't do anything. Like it was either I was in the library all day in class or I was filming a video and editing it for YouTube. So I kind of normalized the life where I didn't allow myself to really relax. And it's like, I would relax for a whole day and be like, wow, I could have got so much done today. I just feel like we treat ourselves like factories and we think that we're always supposed to be productive and pushing out work and pushing out something. But I have to remind myself, Tariq, that you are human and you deserve to relax 
And for me, relaxing is literally just laying down and watching TV and not thinking about anything but the show. Maybe having some cinnamon rolls because that's my comfort food. Um, and just eating good food and laying down and watching TV is very important to me. So I make sure that I do this every day. I don't care if it's for 30 minutes or 20 minutes. I need to have downtime where I'm not looking at my phone or thinking about work. I am simply just relaxing and doing nothing. So I come from a family where cooking is very important. Like I was learning how to cook in my toddler years. Like I was in the kitchen writing things down. Cooking to me is comfort. It reminds me of my childhood, of the good moments of my childhood, that is. And when you cook, you have to focus on the food. You have to focus on the ingredients. If it's overcooking, if you're adding the right ingredients, it makes you focus on what you're doing and not what's going on around you. And in the process of cooking, you kind of forget for a second, you know, what's going on. If something's stressing you or what's bothering you. And not to mention, after you finish cooking, if you can cook, child, the food is good. And I love eating. Eating is like my favorite hobby, girl. Oof. So yes, I love cooking. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you found this video helpful. I just wanna remind you that the things that I do for self-care may not necessarily be the same things that you do that make you feel cared for or comforted or relaxed, okay? So please make sure that you are taking the time to get to know yourself and to get to know what makes you feel good. And for the people that do know what they like to do, please leave it in the comments and maybe explain why you love it and how it makes you feel because that can probably help some other people as well. And if you can't think of anything, go in the comments and see if anything in this video that wasn't mentioned is in the comments. I hope Everybody has a great day. Be nice to yourself. Be kind. And yeah, love you. Love all my tabies.